to Pikmin. In the last episode, we went back to the Forest of Hope and discovered three more ship parts and unlocked the Forest Naval. And in this episode, we'll be going to the Forest Naval and continuing our journey to survive. The Forest Naval has the most ship parts we've seen so far. Oh wait, the forest nail. I think it has the most ship parts we've seen so far. But yeah, this is a cave. And you all know how much I love cave areas, right? If you don't, well, here is my idea of them. <gasps> meh. Yeah, meh. That's all I you feel like saying. Anyway, what we want to do when we start up, I was going to do something wrong, but... Uh, nah. You want to get any Pikmin out whatsoever, even though you only have two at this point in time. Just get a bunch of Pikmin. Like, 35. Right. And come down Earth. You will see this. Basically what this is, it's a stick. And it extends! Okay, no. No jokes about that. Seriously, though. Now, though. And I guess you can just beat this until it's a geyser. Basically, with these little pots in the ground, you can make a Pikmin, your Pikmin attack it until it turns to a geyser. Anyway, you two come. You free. Four, five, sorry. So many Pikmin. Anyway, hopefully they get there safe. I haven't played this game in too long, so I wouldn't know how... Oh, no. Oh, it's supposed to... Right. I'll just get them all on that. And, okay, they made it up. Now, what we want to do is come over here and... What is this? It's very dark and oh my god it's a blue onion! But you might say to yourself Jordan, you might say to yourself, Jordan, Pikmin drowning water, so how are you going to get this Pikmin out of the water in time to save it? Well, these are the most useful Pikmin in the game. Meet Blue Pikmin. It is a Pikmin of yet another colour. Near this one's cheeks is what appears to be a set of gills. This trait suggests to me that this blue type of Pikmin can enter water without any trouble whatsoever. There's only one way to find out. I'll use A to hold one and B and press B to swap it out and issue it my commands. Basically, blue pigmen, they're fine in water. That's their only redeeming trait, but man is it a good one. <coughs> Basically most of this video now is just going to be Oh, they got back, okay. And it doesn't appear, so it's not a required ship part. My automatic gear, oh my like, automatic gear, is thing tracks running through it. I try to fill them with dirt. I hope it'll be alright. I've now recovered seven or well, thirty parts. If I can, if I need five more, I can increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, basically, the rest of this episode is probably just going to be us raising our blues to an amount where it's a reasonable... To an amount where it's a reasonable amount. Yes, Jordan. Okay. Yeah, most of the video now is just going to be us raising blues. I wanted to get that gear out of the way so we could at least gain one ship part today. Once we've got all of these, I might end up going to another area. Not another area, but 
you know what I mean, another place. That over there is something that piqued my interest as something we can get later on. By later on, I mean after we get this five pellet. Because <clears throat> this should give us the amount of Pikmin need necessary to carry it. But yeah, we have now discovered all three types of Pikmin. And, well, simply there is even the best to last. I mean, it's a Pikmin that can survive in the only other hazard in the game other than fire. I think. Oh wait, explosions, but... I mean, I don't count explosions really as a hazard. I just really count... Uh, I'm just rambling at this point. Anyway, blue Pikmin, they are useful in many ways other than just water. If, well, not really, but... Oh, uh, no, I... And I found my number one, Eronium Jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odoriferous exhaust, but it does pro propel me to a velocity and an instant the stench is a small price to pay for such a performance. I'm not sure but I think in this game if you've got drowning Pikmin and you throw blue Pikmin at them, the blue peak pick Pikmin the blue Pikmin will save the other types of Pikmin. I know. They are so useful. Alright, let's just get our reds over here. <clears throat> and break down this before the blues get here. So, oh yeah, that's something we'll be getting into later on. And get another ship part. But luckily, we got possibly two ship parts in one episode if we if this goes well. If it doesn't go well, we can only hope for the rest of the series to go better. Like the only other thing that could. The only thing that can go wrong so far is if the game freezes. Please don't freeze. Please don't freeze. Please don't. Okay. Usually, if I say something like this, the Let's Play curse will kick in and be like, "Yup, hello. You, your game just froze." <laughs> like I'm going to be a jerk because I'm a jerk. Anyway, over here, these rocks. If you put your Pikmin on them, <clears throat> now, come here. If you put your Pikmin on them, uh, hurry up, hurry up, uh, yeah, yellow, I mean, Nectar comes out, you, you all know what Nectar does, so no point explaining it, uh, wait, what, how did, oh, that was a little halfway down there, okay, no, little red. Anyway, I wonder if there's a way I can like clip over or just Oh I can. Oh there's that serves as a little ledge. Okay, I guess I'll go find some more pick go gather these pickling over here. <clears throat> that would have died you if I left now anyway. Um let's check um Oh god, there's there's a red down there. I guess we'll go save the red. I don't want to leave anyone behind. And if I didn't, I'd be going back on my word of no one left behind. Where are you, little red? Oh, you're down here. Okay. Little red, come on. If you want to survive, this is the way to do it. <coughs> anyway, let's... <coughs> let's get this. And that is probably everything we can do today. We can probably open some probably, probably, probably. How many more times are we going to say probably? Probably a lot. Oh jeez. Oh. Anyway, we can open some areas with bomb rocks and I just saw something that I do not enjoy. No, not this little <laughs> It cuts off right before that little thing dies. It's like no don't kill me power up Eronium Jet. If this is damage, I'll be in dire straits. I've never heard that saying before. I'll have to run a system check as soon as I can. 
I have now recovered 8 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 4 more, I should be able to increase my ship capabilities. Yep, oh wait. I just remembered they don't actually die. Well, I stole his nectar. That's bad enough for me. Like, I wouldn't do anything worse than steal someone's food. Or not food, but... Mm, I just bought something very morbid. Let's just take out... I wanna leave... I wanna leave a lot of pickling inside onions each, because if there's like a mass genocide, yes, that's what I'm going to be calling it, of Pikmin, where something just comes up and kills most of my Pikmin. The only thing that can save me is having more Pikmin. Uh, yes, these are Shearwigs, I think. Other, different from the sheer grubs. They, I, I think, I don't know, what are the others called again? Female Shearwig, Shearwig, I can't remember. Alright, they can actually fly if they get hurt enough. No, but blah, 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 blah. Just kill, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> if it gets hurt enough, it'll fly. So if you get, manage to get them over water, They'll start losing health. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, yes, okay. This is good. This is good. If we get this guy, his head, so this is basically called a bread bug. They, they do that, basically. Yeah, if it hits his head, it will lose a lot of its health. And making it lose its health is very nice, because if we, we can make it lose just a tiny bit more health... Come on, 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 yes! It will drop a ship part! Thank goodness, my space float! This float is an absolute necessary for any pilot who lacks a... Lacks skill at swimming in... Base. Anyway, what you want to do after getting that, I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Oh, we'll be able to. Lag. So much lag. Not just. Not. Ugh. Anyway, get your glues on these. Cause this, I'm pretty sure that's. Thought of a boss enemy for some reason. So I think it drops a lot of. of Pikmin. You do that, come on. Come on, Lord Pikmin, Lord Pikmin, Lord Pikmin, lot of Pikmin. Okay, never mind, I was wrong. Completely wrong. I'm just going to come in to this little spot and pluck the rest of our Pikmin up. And that should end day four of Pikmin, episode four. <coughs> We're going through the series really quick, like, I mean, considering I started when I had my, when I didn't even have my capture card, that was a bit bad, but, oh my god, can I walk in a straight line without, oh, you know, there's, there's a Pikmin that's going to be left behind if I don't save it. I always have to be the one saving Pikmin. They can't see their little onion, well, big onion from a distance. Or even the laser that comes out of the rocket when you put a ship part near it. Anyway, here is another ship part. Space float. An excellent swimmer like me has no need for something like this. But my motto is always be prepared. Really, it's just for emergencies. <laughs> I've now recovered 9 out of 30. Parts, if I can just find, yeah, we, we've seen all of this. Yeah, I love how he says, it's only for emergencies. Oh. Ah, sorry little red, I thought you were being annoying. Anyway, yeah, 
we haven't even scratched the surface of space this area has. Over here, you need a lot of blues for this part. Over here, I'm pretty sure... I might spoil it, actually. But next episode, we'll probably try and tackle most of the other parts in this area. And each part of, of the... Uh, I can't speak today. Each area has a sort of boss enemy. So... Yeah. I'm trying to do something quick. There! Wait. There we go! There's also a way you can throw Pikmin backwards. Yeah. Whee! Yeah, I'm throwing Pikmin backwards! But yeah, if you get your... Yeah, there we go. If you get your pointer in a certain position and press Z, you can do that. And it's just so funny just seeing all the mud go... Ah! Ah, help me! I can't see. I, I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point because I have nothing else to talk about. For the oh, I would have lost you. Oh, oh, okay. Let's see. So we've got what? Okay. So, right now we've got 88 and 91. I trust that there's two Pikmin over there, or we might re- Okay. Let's just put all our- Now, I don't want to put all my Pikmin away, but- Oh. Stop falling down, you're gonna get left behind. Basically, if they're not in a certain radius of the area, they'll get left behind. So anyway, let's just hope that there's two- Pikmin over. Okay, good. Come on, didn't you get the motto? No, I don't know. Anyway, right, let's just put this lot in here quickly and let's go. 88. Okay, yeah. We're not leaving any Pikmin behind. No one gets left behind, god damn it. But yeah, honey with are normally in this area because it's a dark gloomy place which no one likes I'm, I'm kidding I like it quite a bit it's not a bad area it really isn't but it can be a bit annoying wait 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 okay okay I was so scared like it was part five and I thought I lost most like two Pikmin. Anyway, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There I. Yes, I'm going to keep doing that. Where are you going? Oh yeah. I was like, guys, stop bumping into me. But yeah, if you look very carefully, you might be able to see the blue onion taking off. Yep, there it is in the background, right there, right there, right there. Yeah, I, I'm weird today. Now, like, the two areas, or the three areas, well, the two, the second and the third area we've seen so far are kind of say, the same in area size, but in area layout, they're totally different. Anyway, let's read today's report. Four days in Sing Pack. Deep in the cave, I discovered, building the forest. I encountered blue picnic. This blue. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Follow. Fellows have something resembling gills on their cheeks, and they appear to be amphibious, surviving both in water and on land. A wonders of nature never cease to cease. I don't know. She stung me. Even in this alien land. Anyway, we left behind none. We only lost two in battle. Wait, oh yeah, the Sherwig. And we sprouted 38 Pikmin. So, yeah, and we, we're almost a third of the ga wait, gaming. 
We only need to get one more ship part that we'll get next episode. And we'll be a third of the game in. Anyway, so far I think our kind of thing for our Pikmin. Uh, blah, 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 I can't talk. I think the. Mm, oh yeah, I think our part counter is like three or two per day. Anyway, in the next. In the next episode, you know what we're going to be doing? <laughs> we're going to be going back to the forest naval. We could go back to the impact site or the forest of hope to get the last parts there, but nah, I think I want to get a few more parts in here before trying to close up these errors. So in the next episode, we will continue the forest naval. See you all next time. Bye!